Hey, what's up? It's your boy Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. Uh, also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll have all this information in the description box. Um, so here's what I want to talk about today. Uh, I want to talk about you and tell you that it's your life, okay? Um, going through, you know, as being a child, going to uh, being, just being a child, you don't really have so much, too much control over your life. You don't control your life to a certain degree that you would like to. And at this point, you don't really understand that you don't have control over your life. So therefore, a lot of things are put on you. A lot of people's belief systems are put on you. And you're told to believe this even though you don't really understand it. And you don't really can't speak against it for the most part. You can't speak against it. So in these situations, as you grow up, you start realizing, you start developing your own opinions about certain things, and you don't even know if they're your opinions still to this day because you're only getting them from the sources of things that you consider to be role models or influences to you. So you take on their opinions about things, and you don't really even know if uh, that's factual information. So you go through these whole stages of being confused and confusion until you follow yourself. Well, at the time, by the time you become an adult, you've been brainwashed with so many, so many other people's ideas and beliefs that you don't know who you are. And what I want to tell you is it's your life. You have to realize this at a very young age. Parents are not going to agree with you with everything you do, but they're supposed to love you for the most part. That's what they tell you. And <laughs> if they don't, then, you know, you're already dealing with a person that don't care about you anyway. And I mean, that's just the truth. So, but the reason why I say it's your life is a lot of the time we're being taken on other people's belief systems and we don't know anything about our own. People, and what we fail to realize is that those individuals have been living on somebody else's belief systems, that stuff that they don't believe. And when I say it's, uh, it's your life, realize the fact that you're going to have to deal with this situation. A lot of a lot of the time, people are tell you, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't go here, don't do that. Oh, you better not. Oh, don't do this, don't do this, right? Or, or, or I wouldn't do it if I were you. Well, really, it's just they're talking about what they wouldn't do in this situation. If they're not trying to give you any information to better yourself, to achieve uh, 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 from failing, to achieve the, instead of failing in this situation, and they're only just telling you, no, don't do it at all, then what happens? You don't do it at all. You don't know. You'll never know. You'll never learn. You'll never understand that situation and how to beat that situation or make it better. So in those situations, you have to realize is that it's you, your situation. It's not theirs. It's what you believe and what you feel. So experience, understand, test things, try it out. As long as it's not going to kill you, as long as it's not you jumping off a building without a parachute. Because some people might want to jump off a building. But I'm just saying, as long as it's something not death, detrimental to you, it's not going to cause you to end your life. Now, when people give me advice about that, it's completely different because it's your life. Because you have a long life, you have a purpose in life, and don't take it for granted. So, when you're going through these situations, especially as you get older, you need to start finding what you love. Find what you love to do. And if you're not too uh, uh, sure about it, uh, sharing it with people, don't share it with them until you're ready to. Because sometimes people can influence you to just give it up and follow whatever they feel and they just destroy your belief. I've, I've heard so many people say, oh, I wanted to be an actor, oh, I wanted to be a singer, but my mom told me, my dad told me, they told me, and now they're wishing that they would have fulfilled that dream and now they feel that they're too old or past the, the age to fulfill that dream. It's not true. People are still fulfilling a dream today. The other day I seen like a 70-year-old Jamaican African woman rapping, made a <laughs> made a rap music video. And if she could do it, and I seen kids, little kids doing it. So if she can do it, the, and a little child can do it, you can do it as well. There's no there's no limitation. There's no age barriers to your success and to your happiness. Okay? So it's your life. Live it. Live it up. Don't don't let anybody influence you to tell you you can't do something. Because think about it. If you don't do it, you'll never know. And if you ever end up in that situation where that individual is not there, then guess what? How can you over, overcome that situation if it is a fit, win or lose situation? 
So, you know, that's how I feel about it. It's your life. Remember that. It's your life. You know, people are going to say what they're going to say. That's what their job is as people. We're, we're able to say what we don't like and what we disagree with and what we think. That's what we have. We have the right. But we don't have the right to force our opinion on anybody who doesn't want to accept it, who doesn't want to accept it. And I, I disagree with that. There's certain opinions that we all have that we wish some people accept, but they're not going to accept it. And it's not for us to push it on them unless they're talking about death or destruction to themselves or someone else. So, like I said, it's your life. Remember that. I said it a lot. It's your life. Figure out what you want to do. Find what you want to do because at the end of the day, you're going to have to live with the decision. It's nobody else's decision. It's nobody else's choice. And it's your life. So I thank you again. Thank you for listening. Uh, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's OpenThoughts.com. T-H-O-T-S dot com. So, you know, uh, that's what I'm saying. I got all my links and stuff. If you want to talk to me, send me something. I like talking to people. I like engaging. If I can help you in any way, let me know. Talk to me. Uh, I love to have conversations. So thank you, and you have a good one.